Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're gonna take a look at the new box rotor from Dai. Uh, this is the loader everybody's been waiting to see, everybody wants to check out. Uh, they are finally available, we just got them in today. So we'll go ahead and open the box, show you what comes in there. You're gonna get your loader. You're going to get an upgraded bolt for your DAM. You're gonna get manual and also your warranty card. Make sure you fill out your warranty card, send all that in. So those are the parts that come surrounding the loader in the box. Now, inside the loader are gonna be some pieces as well. There just isn't room in the box to fit them. So if you fold these open, you're going to get these two pieces inside as well. Now these two pieces are the upgraded board. This is for DAM owners who have an older DAM. This board uh, has the capability to transmit the signal uh, through the RF frequency to the loader. So if you have an older board and you buy the box loader and you don't get a, a new uh, board with it, the box loader will not work. It will not feed into the gun. So you do need to install this into your DAM if you have an older version that does not already have it. All the new DAMs come with this pre-installed in them. Um, but they're gonna provide it for you anyway just in case you don't have it. And then also you've got your charger. The USB uh, charger, the battery plugs into this, the USB cable plugs into this as well. Um, the batteries are not AA or AAA or 9 volt. It is a lithium battery that does come uh, with the loader. They provide it for you, so you do need to charge it. And uh, it should run all day for you. I believe it takes up to about nine hours to charge from being dead, but uh, you can recharge it over and over and over again. So they do provide that as well. So put these off to the side, and we'll talk about the loader itself. As you can see from the top here, you've got two flip-up lids where you can pour paint in either side. It doesn't matter. Uh, you could fill both up uh, to get the most, the maximum capacity. They say 325 balls, uh, but two two pods is probably what people are going to be dumping into it. So uh, it definitely will hold all of that. We look around the front here. We've got our power button on the side right here. On the opposite side, this is the release for the tray to slide out where all the internals are. And then on the bottom right here, this is our anti-jam lever on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the tray out. So I'm just going to pull down that. The tray is going to slide out the bottom. Very similar looking to a rotor. You can see up inside here. Uh, you also can remove the feed neck from the inside here. This is what transfers the paint up and out. So basically this goes over the top of your rotor assembly right here. And this is what funnels the paint up into the upper section of the magazine and then out the end. We'll go ahead and put this back in. Right there. Now, talk about the loader. If anybody, any, any of you guys already have a rotor, you're gonna see this looks very similar to how a rotor looks. If I turn it on right now, I'm gonna get it to probably pulse if the batteries weren't dead. Battery's are dead in this one, so no big deal. This will just spin every couple seconds or so. It will not continuously spin until you have it hooked up to an RF system. Uh, so I'm going to pop the lid off of this so you can see internally. Right here, so that top tray comes off. You can see you've got your battery, your lithium battery right now. It looks like it was unplugged. So let's see if we plug it in. There we go. Now it's spinning. And it will just sit there and it'll spin every couple seconds until it senses a signal from the battery or from the uh, board, sorry. So if I turn it off and we can pull everything out, you can see that the pieces again are very similar to what your rotor looked like. And the whole tray or the whole gearbox does slide out. So this is your battery. This blue thing you see on top here is your battery. So if we go and drop it back in, put our planetary gears in, bottom tray, make sure every fit, everything fits down inside there. Put that in, put that on top, and then go ahead and Fit the lid back on. 
Okay. Everything comes together very simple, just like the rotor. Uh, you don't need um, tools to disassemble it or take it apart. And this is going to slide back in like that. Now, um, like I said, without the loader being synced to the board, it's not going to work. It'll just spin around. So what I've done is I have a loader here. I have one here. It's got batteries in it. And what we're going to do is first I'll pull this out of here so you can see it. So this is on right now. And I have right here, this is just a board. This is the new board that I have taken out of one of the packages and I have already synced it to this loader. So if I turn this on, you can see it power up, recognizes it, and every time I pull the or push the trigger, you can see that that's going to spin. So I'm just activating the micro switch, and it's turning. So if we take this one, and we put it in here, you can take some paint as just a standard normal pod. Fill it up on that side. Take it the other side. Put that in there. Some of that. Whoops, lost one. Put that over there. You can see that this side is pretty full over here, but there's still room in this side. I could probably put another 20 or 30 balls inside there. So it'll definitely hold over two pods worth of paint. Uh, they say 325. So what I'm going to do, as you can see it from the top right here, I'm going to cycle this one time. And you can see the paint came up to the top right there. Now this little latch at the top, this is going to keep balls from popping out when the loader is not attached to the gun. As soon as you put the gun or the loader up into the gun, this is going to get pushed down and it's going to release the paint out of the top. So we're just going to try to catch all of this paint in here. If I hold it to the side, you'll be able to see kind of everything pop out of there see that it kind of popped out a little bit. So I'm going to hold the pin down, try to at least. But I want to make sure that I'm getting paint fed to the bottom, so it's a little difficult here. Okay, remember, when you get down to the bottom of your paint, what's going to happen is, is you're not going to have enough enough paintballs in the loader to push all the paintballs up and out of the top. So you will always hear a couple balls rolling around in the bottom until you put more paint in to get that paint up and out. Um, again, holds about 325 paintballs in there and it does come in a bunch of different colors. So we've got uh, the die cam version. We've also got the tan version. We have the olive version, and we have the black version. So this is the uh, the box rotor from Die. Order yours now at ansgear.com.